Hello guys, how are you? Today on the Outbox Review I bring you a subject that uh, it's not very common but it's equally as interesting as the best model you could ever buy. Today I'm talking to you about um, the FAC from AK Productions um, regarding aircraft scale modeling. It's a limited edition from a great, great, indeed, great modeler called Spanish, called Daniel Samarvide. Um, this book here contains more than 300 pages uh, with more than 2,000, I think, images. Um, and it's a compilation of aircraft scale modeling techniques. Um, step-by-step -step guide and um, World War One, World War Two, Cold War, modern jets um, subjects debated on this book um, it is one of the most enjoyable well done and clear to teach and I'm sorry for my English is very rusty, books that I've ever read regarding modeling. This, it's from AK Productions. It has, this one is in Spanish, but it has uh, an edition in two languages, English and um, Spanish. Uh, it costs 57 to 60 euros. Uh, and if you may consider it a little bit expensive for a book, Regarding the information that it compiles and brings to you and the quality of the images, it's not, believe me. I bought this book in March and uh, this one, it's the AK-277, okay, the reference of it. As I told you, Daniel Samarvide, one of the most young and professional, professional modelers I've ever seen. Um, and this book is tremendous regarding the information that it have. You have the presentation. Everything is well written and explained with tremendous guidelines and, and chapter separations. I believe this image is amazing here, as you can see with the rivets of the airplanes. Introduction. He speaks a little bit about engines, painting, detailing, and uh, chapter two, building and preparing all materials. Since the one uh, uh, from the 101 to basic to the most advanced techniques, as you can see. Glues, all kinds of glue, every kind of glue well specified CA glue gel Tamiya uh, white glue how it all works tested on uh, actual models or actual kits and um, well putties here you can see here all the ejector pin marks being all covered up with Mr. Surfacer 1200 um, riveting all the tools you can use everything you need to do in order to rivet or re-rivet an airplane amazing stuff amazing stuff Dremel how to use a Dremel and techniques for a uh, making the stress as you know in the airplane in an airplane the air going through the fuselage just tears down the fuselage and this is how you can simulate it detailing using styrene sheets he does wonders with just a styrene sheet and a little copper wire Photo Edge. How to work with Photo Edge. 
resin, resin parts, everything you need to know about resin parts, how to simulate the weight on the tires, everything on resin parts, wiring, how to use wiring and uh, please notice this little wonder here, the engine, it's amazing. How to use, how to remove and to make your canopy shinier. How you do your own canopies, you know. Vac form canopies, not very use, useful, uh, not, it's not very um, common. I, I never done anyone uh, or how to do it. Here's how you can do it. This technique is also applied to paper models. It's amazing. How to paint them, glue them. Landing lights and other lights on airplanes, L2. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Antennas. How to do antennas on an airplane? It is absolutely amazing. Several techniques. World War One planes. How to do the rigging. The correct rigging, not like I do, which is uh, in a very amateur way, just glue the wires. No, this has the harnesses and, uh, you know, it's amazing. Look at this. Just look at this detail here. Everything, scratch building, material, radiators on the Stoka, JU, painting guy and um, all kinds of paints it doesn't it does uh, one thing that uh, I like it it doesn't go it's an AK product so you could imagine that you would only get a review on AK products but no he does it all enamel umbral surface primers from Tamiya Mr. Surfacer, he does it all, which is very, very good and uh, very professional. Lacquer base, acrylic, oil, enamel, transparent paints, amazing stuff. Of course, he talks about the true metal that uh, my good friend Carlos Mendez has talked about on his channel. And if you want to see a proper and good review of uh, True Metal paints on AK, I advise you to go to Carlos Mendes' channel because um, he paints and he puts these to the test on a very clear and uh, amazing um, tutorial. And he does this here too, which is amazing. Varnishes. All kinds of this. Since the tester, the Mr. Surfacer, the Vallejo, AK, Tamiya. How to use your airbrush. Simple as that. Pressures, assembling it. How to paint. Amazing stuff. Air, uh, brushes. How to paint, paint pigments on wheels and simulate dust or how to do a wash, or how to paint um, cockpits, instrument panels, a propeller, techniques, look at this, all done with shades and different tones, paneling, and of course we are presented with this amazing work that he does with all these kinds of camo paints, German camo paints, uh, lighting, decaling, applying decals, decals as you wish, doing some paneling with panel washes, 
panel line accentuators, engine, detailing engines. Look at this detail here on this cockpit, absolutely amazing. It's a very uh, entertaining and um, good book, you can learn a lot from it. I'm always using it and I'm not modeling per se right now. I'm always reading it because it's full of info and it's very, very entertaining. And interesting also, of course. Rust techniques, how to apply some rust techniques and um, how to do this. Amazing work he does. Japanese planes, uh, here you can find everything about Japanese planes, that worn out fade look that they have. It's absolutely amazing. Great modeler he is with just a simple pencil as you can see here the amazing uh, details that he can do on a, on a simple pilot chair. Or the mud effects beneath the wing of a World War I plane. Beautiful, graceful. Desconchones, como mi compañeros de España dicen, or uh, chipping, as um, said in English, how to do some chipping in Spanish, desconchones. This here, <laughs> it's amazing, it's a very, uh, it has a story. This wing here is from the Portuguese Air Force. I touched this wing because this wing is uh, just 15 kilometers from here on an aerial base where I do my videos on those expo um, modeling expos. Well, they're doing the restoration of this plane. Um, and uh, back then, when they bought the airplanes in second hand, of course, um, they came from the old US of A. And we didn't lose any time, just hang the cross of Christ <laughs> on top of the, the, star, the star and stripes and uh, take it on. <laughs> and um, this wing is there, um, is there. It's, it's a very interesting uh, airplane, it has a history and uh, they are trying to do the restoration of it. And uh, he came here to Portugal, near here, to uh, photograph this. You can use a sponge technique and well how to do smoke use pigments to do smoke uh, dirty uh, just that's it's the same techniques you can use on on armor you can use here on airplanes as you can see it's very 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 interesting indeed the interiors, how to paint the interiors, look at this, step by step, different English, German, Japanese, American jets, here he is, and then we have the instrument panel, German, English, American, everything detailed step by step, Japanese, here he is. with all the wiring. Man, this is, with all due respect, this is a nut job. This is amazing. <laughs> the final result, it's absolutely amazing, but uh, I would go crazy doing this. Beautiful, it's beautiful. Pilot, any figures and cabins, uh, cockpits, as you can see. Japanese pilots, I love this one. This one is beautiful. The detail of the rising sun. <laughs> jet, this is a focal wolf, this is jets. Look at this. Also interiors, structures, exteriors, wooden propellers, wood grain. Look at this. Um, I had to say something, I'm sorry, I realized now I'm doing this in several takes, uh, I won't repeat the word 
that word again. I am terribly sorry. Uh, I'm joking with myself because I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't repeat this word. But I totally forgot and I got carried away. I'm sorry. Uh, propellers. Spitfire propellers. American. Japanese. Beautiful, isn't it? And, um, well, guys, um, all kinds of camel paints. Look at this. Engines. And um, right here. In the end, well, camouflage, several types of camouflage, German, Japanese, American, World War II, jets, how to paint your own, Iron Cross, beautiful, just not amazing, but beautiful, really beautiful, look at this. burning uh, areas you know the jet metal look it's absolutely beautiful it's it's fantastic really by the way I went to the uh, dictionary to check out new words because you will see in the end of this video and uh, Again, I'm sorry. Look at this. All painted. Shark mouth. It's beautiful. It's fantastic. And then it teaches you how to do wood base, aircraft carrier. See? And, uh,. In the final, we are presented with these beautiful, fantastic kits. Uh, final product, TM1 Avenger, B25J Mitchell, um, Spitfire Mark 9. Look at this one. G6. I wish. <laughs> B26 Marauder E I7 I17 I16 sorry Moshka Mate 21 P39 Air Cobra P51 look um, the Spanish version of the Enkel 111 the Casa 211 2111 This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Mark 1. Mark 5B. Stuka. F14. Look at this. Mosquito. Mossy. And uh, some. So, guys, um, I am sorry again. For the time and time again, I repeated the word. Uh, if you stick around just for one minute, you will see something that uh, me and my buddy here on the precinct, uh, because today I'm filming this on the precinct on the time that I have free, <laughs> and uh, he realized that I was repeating that word again and again, and then. Uh, I have something for you right now uh, at the end. Thank you for watching this uh, outbox review. Keep modeling, okay guys? Always with a smile and uh, please um, check the next video right now and uh, all the best to you. Okay, so um, I'm checking out now um, synonymous words for the word amazing and uh, they are awesome incredible prodigious stunning unbelievable fascinating marvelous shocking surprising and wonderful amazing <laughs>